Hello everybody, this is Sonia and I'm in Australia and the weather is pretty good and I've got to remember that I did say that this time and I keep repeating myself. Okay, so I'm back in my craft room today because I felt like that and plus the weather is really good. We're, we've been having a little bit of... Yesterday it was that much dust here we could hardly see across the road. Um, big dust storm and really hot. So we were sort of inside, couldn't open the, um, the doors and windows and um, oh, you could have done but the house would have been full of dust. So anyway, um, so did, well that's not, <laughs> when you see this, that will be Friday that happened. This is for Sunday, this one, and it's for G. And G, I'm going to, I decided, was going to be gathering gathering fabric and that to make flowers because um g is really hard <laughs> there's nothing that starts with g only giraffe and um what else was there uh anything else oh grapes i've already made a grape but i'm going to do this flower one because i like making flowers and i'm sure you will enjoy this as well because there's more than like you get you, you you can only you only use to gather it, but the effects are so much different with what you use. Okay, it depends on what you use, what effect you get from your flowers. Okay, and I used to make them. Oh, I used to make so many, and then I'd gift them all. You know, put them in whatever something or other. You know, and send them away. But I don't have a lot anymore, so I don't mind having a bit of a go today and making some more because I really you know enjoy doing that. Now I'm going to use grey fat, uh, I've just got an ordinary needle because you just don't need anything just that, you know, too, doesn't matter what you use as long as it's not too fat, too thick because it's really hard to pull through your work. Get yourself something that's really thin, not much bigger than the, um, if you don't want to be fighting with it, you want something that's, you know, good length, that one there is probably two inches long. Um, it's got a reasonably sized hole in it so you'll be able to thread your cotton through. Um, I haven't cleaned these scissors yet but I think they still cut little bits of, <laughs> little bits of um, cotton. Uh, I put that over there so it wouldn't reflect on you. I don't think it's got a little bit of um, shadow in there and I'm sorry about that but I... So anyway, now... I imagine, well before this you've just seen sad days yes because this is for Sunday isn't it haven't made sad days yet because at this stage because I can't find what I was working on last week because I had to come I, I came in here and I sorted out all the fabric because I had to make up another lot of fabric for sale and so I've sold that all and, and I um, at this moment can't do any more it's too hot to be doing that so I've sold all that and thank you very much to the ladies that bought it off me and um, I just want to say to Bonnie Neville too, I'm very sorry you didn't get your needle, but I promise you I posted it. And I will send you out another one. The only thing is to, the lady said at the post office, it's got to go through customs. And I wrote on it what was in there because I didn't want them to like scan it and then think there's something in there because it was metal. Um, and then you know, then unravel it. So I don't know what they've done with it. I know sometimes it takes a while to get over to people, but I'm, I'm going to try and send you another one, okay? Is there anything I can do? Or, i got a good idea. What about if I buy it for you? I might, I know what I'm going to do. I think I'll go and I'll buy it and have it sent to your place. How about that? Because it's free postage. And I can have them sent to your place. Can I do, can I do that for you? I'll do that. I'll go buy them and send them to your place, um, Bonnie. So that, can I do it? I'll do that for you, because that's the best idea. Because if I go and parcel it up and it's got to go through, see, because it'll come from China. It might not take as long to get. It might take. Though I do. No, that's not true. It will probably take a while to get. But eventually you'll get. I think you buy a packet of six. So I'll send them to you. All right. So don't don't worry. You'll get it. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. I, and there was um, another lady. I can't remember. There was one Jody and the other one. The both the names were close to the same. The lady from Queensland got hers. And I don't know whether that was. Hang on. Actually, I've taken got me a piece of paper with your names on it, and I've put the book into a bag. There's squished in there. So 
Oh dear, I'll have to get out and show and let's have a look. So this is me. This is me address. <laughs> this is me address book. I don't know. I put it in there so and then hold it together. Probably she's got elastic band. That might have been a better idea. But I've got your information in here and who I sent the things to. I'm just going to stuff this. Okay. I'll just unstuff it. And we'll get... Um, so, Bonnie, you live in Canada. And I sent... Um, the Joy, Joy in Victoria, that's right. She got hers. And Jodie Conrad, she hasn't got hers yet. So maybe... I might have to do the same with her too, because she, she hasn't told me anyway. So I might have to do the same with her and have it sent to to her place. So we'll do that. I need to wrap this up with something else. I've got to put a elastic band or something in it. I'll sit there in the bag. Okay, so back to this now. Sorry about that. Sunday stitching. No, Sunday is for gathering. So now today I've got a piece of... Now this is going to be just as a big a surprise to me as it is to you when it, when it turns out like <laughs> Okay. It's all fun, isn't it? Well, I've done them before, and I know they work, so we're just going to have a go now. Piece of, piece of cotton, and you start at the end here, of course. It doesn't matter if you don't start right on the end, because you're going to sew that anyway, and you just want to put little up and down stitches. This is gathering. We're just gathering this along here, because G is for gathering today. Okay. Now, I did put a knot in it. See how that's going up? That looks really good, doesn't it? This is a piece of cotton. I don't know whether it's considered to be eyelet lace. It's got holes in it. It could be. I don't know. Um, different countries call things by different names. and So I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. When I get to the end, I'm going to take, I'm going to measure it then. right? So say, for example, you want to make more than one flower you want to sit down you want to work on how gathered you want it to be you don't want it to go too far because if you do it'll all be sitting up you want it to gather up so it's all nice and straight okay now if it ends there what do you reckon that looks pretty good doesn't it so what i'm going to do now i'm going to cut that piece off there without cutting my i'll get these scissors here because i know they're going to work I'm just going to get go a bit past where I did the where I ended up. See there, a bit past, a bit past where I ended up, and then I'm going to come back and undo it like this slowly. If you don't break your cotton, well, I don't think I'm going to be that rough with it, surely. And then I've got a measurement. So I've got a measurement for that one at one, two, three, four and a half inches. Right, so you can write that down if you want to make more of these, right? Four and a half inches of that sort, right? And that's because it's got the pointy bit on it. There's all different sizes you're going to need to do, but that's how you check your size. Do it first, then measure it, and then you know when you cut the next one, or you can just do it the same. But so they'll turn out the same, you need to measure it if you're going to put. If you want them to all turn out the same, measure the thing. So you now you want to pull that back up, hold your two insides, put the two in the, the top part, I mean the right sides together, pull it up as tight as you can without breaking a thread, and then you just go through the back here, to the other side I should say, and um, get a bit of a knot and, you know, just don't worry about that though. Oh, I couldn't believe how horrible it was here last night with that dust. Oh dear, that's terrible. And then my husband said it rained last night while we were asleep. Well, I know the thunder was rolling around all night. There was thunder. I couldn't hear rain because we have tiles on the roof. They were going to put a tin roof on. I was getting excited about that because I'd love to hear the rain. Cause it's a very, very rare thing around here. Oh, I wish people would plant more trees too. The people cutting them all down all the time. They need to plant more trees. We have a lot of trees in our backyard. Well, we do around the house. And we're at the front, or oh, some at the front. One out, two out the front, three. <laughs> at the side, up the back. Other people, other people don't grow trees. Why, why don't they grow trees? Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just have to get these things on my mind, you know, and I can't, can't get rid of them. I think, well, oh, I wish I... <laughs> Sometimes you wish you had some sort of 
clout or something so he could get people to do something. I don't want to do that. Because <laughs> they cut them down. They don't put them up. They, cause they're cutting them down all the time. I think I told you about the day Hunt, uh, Jeremy hunted them away from out the front. They wanted to cut their... We got ornamental plum trees out the front on the pathway. And the, the people with the, with the electricity company were going around cutting them back away from the lines from the you know the overhead power lines our tree's about five meters away from the overhead power lines and they're not going to grow any higher that's the height they get and he told them if they cut them down if he cut any bit off it he was going to cut cut the rest of it out if they did that <laughs> he was wild and i don't blame him because i wasn't happy either they they just can't do that anyway they went away <laughs> He left, the man did. He wasn't going to cut it down. Look at that. That looks really good. That would make a good little Christmas star, wouldn't it? Oh, never thought about that. Anyway, so that's that one. And wouldn't you be, look at me, I've gone and got put some things there I could put in the centre. How, uh, how good am I today? <clears throat> you would put that in the centre, right? Now, don't get, don't get excited about telling yourself how great you are because you didn't get any. Oh, yes, I did. Look. <laughs> now, I bought these online. I do have the ability to cut them out, but I, you know, how could I cut out all them that quick? So, I'm just going to put a piece of felt. This cost me probably a dollar or something, and I think they're three quarters of an inch. So, that'd be. Have I cut the top off this yet? Yeah, all now the glue leaked everywhere, just just letting you know. I lost another heap of glue. That, that open? I'm just going to have to put the needle in there and see. I don't think it is. Where's one that's open? I don't want to play the glue game today. But I'm going to glue this on here shortly. I don't want to bore you with glue. Okay, I'll put the lid on that. Sit it there for a minute till it runs down. The lid fell off, of course. So that'll be the back, and this will be on the top here, right? So that's a good little size for um, a, a tiny flower, for your, you know, your, your journals or your hat or whatever you want to do with them, okay? Right, now, um, we're going to do a bit of uh, uh, thicker sort of lace, like thicker, wider, a wider lace, okay? So if you've got some of this wider lace, and you don't know what to do with it. You fold it up like this. All right, I do. I fold mine so that there's two frilly edges. Okay? I've got two frilly edges. And I've got it upside down back to front. So I'm going to start the other end if I can find it. <laughs> I just took that out of the drawer. I probably should have. Now, this one's going to need more than one thingy when I say that. Um, I'll make sure this is the right side. It looks good. Looks like it could be. So I'm not taking it all the way. When I fold it over, I'm just going to leave it there because I'm going to have that way. I'm going to have two gathered bits in it, aren't I? <clears throat> G is for gathering today, people. Now, back to this. I did it wrong. There's all these little bits and pieces that you think about after you've <laughs> finished. That I could tell you that I actually do do and don't even think about it, you know. So when I knotted that, I realised I only had one piece. <clears throat> when you sew, sew them with lace, uh, excuse me, there's got a lot of um, holes in, of course. You need to put your two pieces, that looks khaki. You need to put your two pieces, only because wet, pieces of cotton together and not at, at the bottom, okay. So you've got two, two strands and it's not at the bottom. Now I'm going to just cut this a bit straighter than that. You want to turn this up here. This is a lot for beginners, but I'm sure there's other people that might not have ever did, did it before either. So because there's so many um, holes, if you just pull that through there, it's like there's a good chance you're not going to go straight through. So you want to put your needle in in there. So when you pull it through, it's, the knot's going to hold it. You got that? Make it lassoed it sort of thing. You looped it. So now we're going to go in and out this here. Now it's up to you what colour thread you use, but this is not going to be seen, so it doesn't really matter. And I, instead of me getting out of blue and putting it in all the others, I've got grey, and I'm just going to sew it 
through all of them. Now, I'm not going to make sure when you're doing this you don't do a back stitch because you're going to have to, you're going to want to take this undone again too, aren't you, to see what your, how far you've gone along. Probably, I'm thinking maybe in a lot of cases this was about 20 centimetres, which is below, you know, this width anyway. I, I don't know because I can't remember how long ago since I've made these. So we're going to pull that up like so. See, we're getting two two layers, okay, in one go. Okay, now we're going to try and make sure this stays the same level. This one here, where you folded it over, keep it at the same level as you're going along. So they're but all it's all the same distance around. You don't want it to be. So you sort of your flowers all the same distance here, which I hope. Now I'm doing the same thing, I'm going along and I'm gathering it up. Because this is a bit bigger, I think it takes more than, you know, what we did on the other one. It takes more more lace, you see, because it's a bigger flower. Right, let me just make sure that's up there a bit further. Just a tiny bit, don't go too, too far there, Sonia. And you're just doing stab stitches to gather it up around there and make that nicely. We need to go a little tiny bit more I think. You just eyeball it and see what you think. I hope I didn't do a back stitch then. I just don't want to. <laughs> so if I pull, put that across there like that, that's probably about right, isn't it? It's not going to be too... If you go too far it'll all stick up and look wrong. If you don't go far enough it won't lay flat for you, okay? So now you take this back down, like so, and you measure that, <coughs> and that is 7 inches, right? So this one's 7 inches this time, the other one was only 4 and a half, wasn't it? So we're not going to cut right close to the uh, edge of the lace, we're going to cut back a bit, because when we pull this up, we want to get the wrong side, and uh, put the right sides together, I've got a big not there, and I started on the right side with it, I probably shouldn't have, but it's okay, we, we, it, it's all good, we can put it down in the seam. We put the right sides together like that, so you've got your four pieces, really, you pull that up as tight as you can, as far as you want it to go anyway. Now if you don't, if you want to make two of these, right, and you've only got a little bit of lace, what you do is you don't pull it as tight, you can leave it a bit open <laughs> and then fill the hole with something else like put you know cover it over with whatever you're working with but that's only in emergencies you know if you really need it to do that just don't pull it up so tight and then you want to come back down here once you go up because you don't want it to be ending up on the end so I go up and down it the seam <clears throat> and then I'm going to cut this little bit off because it's sticking up there Could maybe end this off a bit better first before I put it down I'll be devastated if it all fall apart alright see yo now <clears throat> here we go so that's that one and then if I made the other one, <clears throat> is this the pot with the glue coming out of it or not? It's just still sitting there. Come on. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Now I'm going to stick to, while I'm thinking about this, I'm going to put their backs on them. This one here has a piece of um, felt on it. You can put paper discs on here, like round bits of paper people put on them. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. You know, it's your piece of thing. If you think that it, the paper looks good, that, well it does. There's no... No rules, and this is a flat back pearl thing that I'm putting on here. <clears throat> now I've had since the year dot. I thought about doing a different colour in the middle, but I want to leave it like that because that's going to make a good um, thing if you want to do anything white. There's a bit of um, fray bit there. What have I done? Anyway, we're not going to fiddle around with that. That'll all cause too much trouble if you start cutting off things. Okay, so that's that one. It's finished. Now we're going to put this one here on the back of this one. It's not going to be what I'm working for, though. This is working towards. So I'm going to be putting more on this, so I'll have to find out what it's going to be. 
That won't take me too long, I hope. I think I've got some stuff here together so I can do this. I just hope I have. Now that's only got a small little thing on it for the size of the flower, but that's okay because you can't see, like there's a seam, but you can't see it that plain. It looks like one of the gatherings in it, doesn't it? Okay. Now you can leave it like that and put something in there. This will make it go <laughs> really wild, won't it? Or I do like to make them with these um, little roses in the inside of them. I do like them like that. That's my favourite. And I'm going to have that on there, okay? So that's that one. Some of these roses, I bought a whole heap, you see, but lot, some of them are not really still stuck together properly. They fall, they fall apart. But you can fix that. You can, you know, just put a bit of stuff around and it'll be fine. Now, I do like that. And then it looks really cool when you put it onto, you know, something that you... Oh, you can't see them. <laughs> There we go. No. Okay, you've seen them now. We'll sort of show you after two. Right, so that's that one. And I can't see the clock because there's a book in front of it. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'll just get myself over here a bit and move the book because I wasn't even paying attention how long it's taken me. That's probably only about 10 minutes. I think I've done a lot, but I don't think I have taken that long. Mouthful of water, please. Okay. I had to get myself to the doctor the other day because I had an infection and she told me I was dehydrated really bad and I got to drink more and drink more as if I don't but I tried to stop drinking so much because oh dear one thing leads to another doesn't it? it just it doesn't matter it just all goes wrong sometimes and then we're going to do another lace one just for you know to give you the idea of what you're going to turn out when you do your gathering see so that one there <coughs> Looks like it's been, this bit's been left over. This is only lace that I buy, bought online, I think. <laughs> I couldn't actually tell you where I got everything from. If you've seen this, stay in this room, you'd be very disappointed in me. But anyway, unless you're all prepared to come and help me, which you don't have to, to get it done in some sort of a decent time. Now, I've got the the, the knot on the bottom because look see there's, there's nothing there to catch it is there so go through and put your first <coughs> and then go back in through between your two pieces of cotton so the knot ties that up together right you've got hold of it for sure okay and just stitch above where that part there is only just above it not uh, too far up because it'll look goofy just do stab stitches and that will gather that up really nicely. I oh, really went too, too wrong then, didn't I? I really went wrong. And the days go so fast now, this daylight saving thing. It's really weird, but it does. I mean, I, the cat got us out of bed at uh, past eight because he thought it was time we got out. And, um, you know, now it's half past 11 or something. Oh, no, it's half past, yeah, half past 10, actually. So this one's gone a bit smaller because of, of the size of the lace and the fact that I'm not going to... Ow! Right. So you reckon that's about far enough? So if you go too far, it'll sort of all sit up on top of itself and it won't look properly. And the, some people say that they can't do flowers, but I don't think that that's not. <laughs> I think people, you know, some people get a bit daunted by trying to do things and you shouldn't be. I fought yesterday making something nearly all day on and off. I did. I fought with it nearly all day. Actually, I, the morning part, I, I fished through beads and things and had a lovely time looking at me beads and I was sorting out some beads and stuff. I just had the most amazing time. And then the, the thing I was making, I worked on it, worked on it, it didn't work. I done do it, redo it. <laughs> <laughs> when I tied and finished I was happy 
I was happy with it when I finished it. Because he'd go away from it for a while. I went away, had lunch, watched a bit of a movie, had a bit of a nap, <laughs> went back and finished it. So there you go. I didn't actually work on it all day, but it took all day before it was finished. Right, so I've gone back down and up like I did with the others. And so I don't have to tell you that. And that's that, like so. These look all right in your, on your journal pages. I like them on in the journals, the little ones. Or in your hair or anywhere you like now. See, I've got a bit of a, a little tiny bit of um, lace going over the edge. I oh, will stick it out a bit, so I'm going to cut that off so it doesn't stick out too much. And you just sort of manoeuvre it around till it looks right. Put a sticky thing on the back. And I didn't measure how much that took, and this is what the idea was. <laughs> dear, oh dear. I was trying to help you, and now I didn't. But you know that what you've got to do, okay? <laughs> That's what you do. You measure it. You don't just go off willy-nilly like Sonia and just put it together, because it might not work properly. I do like that for there, don't you? That looks really pretty. I could go with a blue one. That would give it a bit of a lift up, wouldn't it? That would lift it along a bit. Isn't that beautiful? That is really gorgeous, isn't it? You know, really is pretty. I like that. So I stuck the piece on the back. I'm going to stick this thing in the middle. Come on, because I like the colours. I do like the colours. Okay. Isn't that nice? That just makes a big, you know, impact on your page, doesn't it? I do like that. All right, now, okay. So now we're going to do um, a bit of um, ribbon, right? Now, I've got this really old piece because I, I know that it's old. I can't even iron it properly because it won't. Oh, well, I, I can, but not today. And I feel like it. Maybe I should. That's just not good, is it? Wait a minute, we'll start from the other end. See, it's all been folded up and creased for many years. The reason I wanted this is because I wanted just the width of it. Because I do like the width of it. Now, okay. So, we'll, we're going to go work with this and see what happens. This piece of ribbon is, it's satin and it is one and a half inches wide, okay. So, I'm going to make a flower out of this by gathering it up by folding it exactly in half, okay, and going along this edge here. Make sure you, I've got one of these things longer than the other now. Come on. There we go. That's right. Now, you, it'll fray really bad, okay, so don't panic though, because you can do this. Fold it in half, because you probably think, oh, I've got a bit of that wide ribbon, what am I going to do with it? But it'll look really good. If you don't pull it to, you know, we're going to have more, we need more. And get it up a bit more. Hey, okay. see, looks good, looking good. Whatever you do too, when you're doing this, just be careful you don't pull it too tight because when it breaks, you're not going to be happy if you got to undo it and fix it again. Now that's as far as we're going, okay? And I will take it undone and tell you how far. It would be about the same as the white one, wouldn't it? And it is too. It's four and a half inches. Wait a minute, sorry. Wait a minute. No, it's five inches. I took it back to the edge of the ruler this one's five inches long okay so I'm going to cut this off here near the end I'll be a bit, a bit further so I went too far there but cut it off there <coughs> I've got a beading bug I like the beads <laughs> I like doing beading and the sewing has got me 
more intrigued now. I do love the journal making. I really do. And I wanted, I'm going to do a bit of work on journal making on Mondays because I don't want to give it up. I can't give it up. I like doing it. I do love it. I've got all the stuff that I've collected up under mankind. I got some really good music books the other day. Old from 1959 one of them is and it's really nice music paper and you know I love to do fussy cutting and it's really one of my favourites to do but I do like this too and I, can't, I just seem to not been able to spread everything out far enough because I want to do it hey but I will be able to do it I'll achieve it somehow and when you're sewing this up make sure you two these two pieces meet I didn't say that before but on this one here, it's sort of more important because of what it's made out of, because you'll see that it's not meeting up if it's not meeting up. Mine is a little bit off. I can see that, you know, it's a little bit off. Anyway, I'm going to end that off and cut all these frilly bits off. So now we have one of these, right? I need to cut. The, I'm going to stick a bit of glue on them frilly bits because I don't want it to all unravel. Unravel. I'll put a bit of glue on that. Now I'll just make sure I press it down. I don't want to touch it with my hands. I'll use a straw. <laughs> I don't want to get glue all over my hands. You put it all over the place. You can pick up whatever you've got handy. <laughs> this is sitting there probably because it fell down at some stage or other because of all the stuff I've got on my table. Still have to stick me in beyond there, didn't I? Okay. Now, that one there, I do really like that one there. It's really one of my favourites to do. Um, and I don't know that I've got anything that I actually want to put on that for the time being. I'm going to think about what's going on there. Because... It looks a bit, I don't know, like it needs a particular sort of something. It could it could have a bead or a flat back pearl, I suppose. That might look nice. What about the pink one? Come here, you. I did get glue on me. You know, after all that, it's my thumbnail. Oh, honestly. <laughs> Come here. Get off. And some pearl thing. Oh, it's very, very, very subdued, but it doesn't matter if I put that there. That's not quite what I want. I want something different because I'm going to. Oh, I've got a little jar of buttons here. Uh, I don't think I've seen anything really that I want. A pink one. Oh, crikey pink one. That's a bit big, I think. Maybe not. Oh, that looks good. I'll have that on there. I've got a smaller pink one. Anything smaller than a pink? Just a tiny bit smaller we want, don't we? That makes that look awful old-fashioned, doesn't it? Come on. Pink? No, that's the same. That's weird. That thing doesn't take up the whole button thing. <laughs> the little tiny piece in the centre. Well, I'm going to sew that on because if I glue it there, let me know if you like this, because I do, because that'll look really cool on something. Um, I thought I was going to go with a pearly thing, but hang on, that's more, more my idea, I think. What about that? And watch me take this off and put it inside. No, look at look how much difference it makes putting the right thing on there. Look at that. That's awesome. And see where I haven't done one show you mistakes. Oh why not? It's all handmade. It's done it <laughs> to the best of my ability today. I think. <laughs> well sometimes I do things and then I think, oh dear, so you could have did better than that. But I've got a, there's a slight, a very slight difference in that. <laughs> which I don't think you can hardly notice so I'm going to sew this on so I want to do two th thicknesses of thread and I hope this is enough on this piece of string here and I'm going to come through I should take that off first because it's not quite dry see that's what I like about my glue 
okay so I'm going to come through the back here catch the little shank on that and pull it down through through the inside and go back down through the inside and put then put your needle through this part here and if you lost me then you might have to rewind that that's how you got that button secured through to the back you got me and then I can come up and if I can see what I'm doing down through this hole I can grab another lot of go through the shank of it again I probably got my hands all in the road that should stay tight enough if I if I pick up a bit of this ribbon here on the back it should stay in there tight enough there we go so that side and come over this side and make sure you secure it so it doesn't get away look at this it's wobbling around out there already you know what I'm going to stick some glue under it as well we're going to go for the whole lot I'm going to glue it too come on and we're going to put that on there again whoops wrong way now we've got glue both sides that's not too bad on one side it's only a little tiny drop just cutting off the cotton Actually, I don't know if that needs to be glued. It seems to be like I've got hold of it now. Looks like I've got hold of it. Okay. Right, and that's four done. And we're going to now do some different things. Like, you know, I've been using different things, I know. But um, we're going to use some material. What do you reckon about that? We're going to use some material. And maybe some plain... Um, ribbon to just to show like that is plain, that is but it's folded over see so it's and that's the only size well we could make out of that unless you did a really big one and I think the bigger you get might be just too not, unless you want a bigger one for your hat or something you know just get us some more water yeah, unless you want a bigger one for your hat so we can make them out of um, fabric as well. So we're going to do this. Now I don't know how this is going to turn out because of the, it's coloured. Like, I've got a pattern on it. Well, I do sort of know, but it's, it makes a difference, you know, from the plain ones with it, how it turns out. And I don't think it's thin enough. I'm not really happy with that. It needs to be a, a thinner piece. I'm going to tear it again. I'll tear it again. Okay, now piece of <laughs> here we are cotton, bit of thread. Okay, if my camera goes flat again, I'm going to cry. It keeps on doing this. I don't know whether it's something to do with, well, you know. I think I had it off the charger for a little while before I used it, and I didn't think people things did that while you were, you know. But anyway things the battery goes flat in and maybe I need to get a new battery for this or something it does, does sometimes drive me a bit you know because I go I'm here doing a video talking away and all of a sudden there I go I'm gone so if that ever happens you know that my battery's gone flat or something underwater <laughs> there's a knot in me cotton okay now so do we have two thicknesses? Why not? Let's do two thicknesses because it's a bit more, it's a bit more secure, isn't it? We have two thicknesses of thread. Mm. Now, I'm just doing a trial. This is a trial and error for this bloke. It's a frilly bit on the top because it's frayed a bit. And I'm going to... I start in a little bit in from the edge, but not too far. And then you only need a tiny bit from the bottom. It goes round like this. These I made and put them on doilies, I think. Oh, no, I didn't. I did the, the suffles, or whatever they are. And now they're gathered. See, so these are all gathered. Well, these are all gathered. I don't think they look the same, do they? I don't think so. Anyway, I've got more things to show you. But, because now that, <laughs> that I've started, I'm thinking, oh, dear, I can do that as well, can't I? Yep. 
I can. Okay, probably should. I don't know what I'm going to do. You'll probably have, you would have seen the sad day one before this, so I hope I did a good job. Whatever I come up with, because I can't find my piece of material I started with last time. I've, I've got in here working in the material, and I, <laughs> I must have lost it. I might put a bit more. I'm going to have it really gathered up here. I think it looks nice. It's going to look fantastic on something, something kitcheny, whatever, you know. And I'm going to measure that now. I'm going to take that back out like so. And I'm going to measure that, and that's nearly that's seven and a half inches. Okay, so I'll cut this bit off the end. <clears throat> Any giant scissors? Have I been in the shot all this time? I've just I've not even been looking at my camera, you know, today. Well, it's really hard, you know. You need to make sure what you're concentrating on, what you're concentrating on, is good. You got to be concentrating, okay? Now, so we've got all different ways that we can do flowers. I mean, your way is, you know, whatever you want to, really. You do whatever you want to. Oops. Here we go. Ah oh dear, there's a big size on you. Oh well, I do that sometimes. I'm just content. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Been sleeping. That's been good. Reasonable. Night for last wasn't too great though because it's too hot. It's too hot last night too for a while because we were shut in here with. We just had the fan on. We didn't put air conditioning on because it wasn't really. We didn't think necessarily. Well, my husband didn't think necessary because he's a funny man. In the winter time, we'll stand turn the heater on and stand in front of it. In the summer time, we'll go. Oh no, it's not hot. <laughs> Anyway, I can't be like that to him. <laughs> but it isn't it strange how when you're cold or whatever, other people aren't, or hot or whatever, and other people aren't. It's just really weird, isn't it? Anyway, I need a little flower on that. I've got these these little flower trims. Aren't they awesome? I do have those. Got them. A big reel of it. I've cut some off, but that's too tiny because what I I can do is put something in between that size and the little one on top, you know, like gather up something and put in there, but I don't know if I have this something handy for the time being, because I wanna, don't want to fiddle around too much with one flower at a time, I wanted to do some, you know, get some more done. And I've only got about 10 minutes to go, I think, and then I'm going to have to to go and finish this up for the time being. So, um, oh, well, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just coughing and thingy. I don't think I want that on there. I want something a bit subdued. A button, I think a button, I think a button would look good because it's, um, these are ones you cover. <laughs> and the other day, and I was, I haven't got them here, but the other day when I was up the street, a friend of mine came out of the shop and she said, Sonia, look, they've got all these in here. And that was these. There was packets of these. I have five packets I bought for a dollar a packet. And look at this. Why are they in there? How am I going to find them in there? They're not supposed to be in there. Anyway, so these are covered buttons, which I didn't know if there was anything else in there I could have used. So I don't want to cover one at the moment. Covering buttons, I mean. None of them are actually covered. Oh, I like that. That's Jessie, isn't it? <laughs> no, not wrong sort of buttons. I've got a whole pile of them. Maybe I can't get that down. Jar. Big jar of them. Too big, please, I think. I just want one button. It's not too much to ask, is it? Maybe these are all dark colours. Oh, that's a jazzy one. Mm, no, 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 no. Mm, that would be okay, smaller. 
What about that one? These are really old. They're all, you can see they're dirty around the edges of them. They're that old. No, that's not nice. We have to give them a wash. Oh, what's this one here? This is pretty. I don't know. It depends on what sort of look you're going for, I'd imagine, doesn't it? If you want something that's a bit more oldish looking, I'm just going to put some there and show you what they like, what they look like for you to get an idea. But that's because um, I don't know what I'm going to stick on there yet, but it'll come to me one day, you know. I'll see what I can put on there. Okay, now that is a button. Good grief. <laughs> anyway, so that was that. That didn't. Um, so I wanted to show you one more idea before the time runs out. I hope I can do this before the time runs out. And this is called, this is actually going to be ruching. It's a gathering, but it's called ruching. Okay. And I'm going to do this, and it's not probably going to be something that you could make a flower out of, but I wanted to show you how to do it anyway. Probably make something out of it. Have I got the right piece of, I'm trying to. I'm looking about here while I'm trying to do this. Have I got the right piece of fabric for this? Into the water again. That's not wide enough. This would work. I'll cut a piece off this and do this because it'll all really good, I think. So I've got a piece of fabric here, and I'm going to have to, because it's been overlocked around the edge, I'm going to have to cut that off. Okay. This had a piece of my ribbon embroidery on the other side. Another end of it. Come on. Because it's, this is a good thing to do this with. I have another few ideas for flowers, but yeah, we'll have to get on with that another time, eh? Right. <clears throat> now, come on. Because I wanna I'm in a hurry, it's gonna fiddle around on me. So we've got a piece here, two inches wide, okay? And the length is seven, <clears throat> two by seven. So we're gonna come in. A little ways and we're going to go along here and we're going to something happened there that must have got stuck on a knot or something it's not actually right on the edge okay I'm not going to put it right on the edge and I'm going to hope that this giant knot I've got is hangs on I'm going to hope that hangs on so we just want to sew down here and stab stitches like so Leave it like that. Cut that off. Somewhere. Have it cut off. Might need a quick bit of another piece of thread. Mm. If this goes on to two videos, I will cry. So you can't see what I'm doing because of the colour behind me. Goodness me. There's something I can put behind this really quickly. Show you what's happening. I'm trying to thread a needle first. One thing at a time. Okay. <laughs> Sonia, that's incredible, isn't it? All the pieces I've got, you've got nothing suitable to put behind this to show you what I'm doing. There we go, I'll put this under there. There we go. Now we've got that piece and we've got that bit in at the end. Then we're going to come to the other side and we're going to do the same thing again. Now you need your stitches to be about a quarter of an inch, maybe. Try and just be consistent if you can. It, you know, you don't have to sit there and be actually, actually absolutely precise, you know, but just be um, the best you can because you need to. Why won't it go through? What is wrong with the thing? Okay, got it. Because I'm trying to hurry now. Probably should have showed you this first. <sighs> Any
and you can you know use this to put on something I don't know across the top of a dress around your arm <laughs> in your journal on your front page of your journal you use it as a um, anyway you'll see you could use it as a pocket in your journal because it would work pretty good or it would have worked all right okay so now I've got both pieces done and I'm going to just carefully pull them up now you've got to you've got to be you know with me because it's a long time since I've done this okay and you've got to get there and you've got to sort it okay so you've got little little what's the names Bushy bits. Maybe it could have been another four meters longer. <laughs> see that that's the thing too. You need lots of because you're going to gather it. See, but if you did this and put it in your as a pocket or something, it looks pretty cool. You just have to sit there and tuck it, you know, till you like what it looks like. And it probably could go down more squishier. I'll put it, I'll put it right in, and then I'll open it out a bit. I don't know. This one here's got to be taken up further. But you need to do it so it's... Um, I've got a needle and cotton in this. I want them to both be, even before I settle them down, before I sew them. I'm going to sew this one. And then I can catch up with the other one then. I don't know what I've got. I must have a knot in that piece of cotton or something. I'm going to sew that there. And I'm going to get the other piece. I'll just use the same piece of thread. Oh no, I'm going to use this piece of thread. Let me fingers caught on it. <coughs> Come out of there. This other bit here. It's getting warm in this room now. So this is not going to make a very big pocket, is it? I just need to, to end so, so I can sit here and do this and make little pleat sort of things out of it, okay? Maybe I've been too uh, um, thingy and drawn it up too far, but it makes like little pleats if you push it. So this is called ruching, okay? <laughs> ruching in the gathering um, tutorial, okay. It's okay though, we can 